Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. The guys have made them another bamboo scaffolding here. Still bringing up to the purlins. It is cloudy today, but man, is it hot. Had mostly sun yesterday, but I think it's hotter today than it was yesterday. It is toasty. Humid. Whoa. Right, Nene? So the guys have got the uh, the purlins laid in where they would need the scaffolding. And I'm getting ready to head into town. I'm up here. I'm going to get a, a materials order from Tatai. That's looking like rain right there. Oh, this is going to be nice when it's done. After lunch, progress going here. We get one more lightning like that, Tatai, and you guys are getting off this roof. Okay? Why? Because I don't want you guys up here with that kind of lightning. There was a flash here, I don't know, like a couple minutes ago. There was like someone taking your picture with an old style camera. And a big boom. And I just don't want the I don't want the guys up here if it's gonna rain like that. We did go into town, I got the paint for this. Uh, got a lot of things actually. We got the metal flashing. Uh, there were some particular kind of nails that Tata wanted. We were not able to get those. It's a nail with tie wire already in it. I really don't know what you use it for, but uh, we're not going to paint this today. Uh, more thunder. We're not going to paint this today because it's uh, intermittent rain and. We haven't gotten hardly any rain here, just al almost zero. But it's going around us, and I know that cloud. That cloud is coming this way, so we might get a little downpour here shortly. So we're not going to be doing any painting, and like I told Tatai, we get another big lightning flash, like the one. Yeah, you know, that one right there was a ways away. The one that I was referring to was close and intense. And I'm just not comfy with the guys up here. It's going to be Serious rain, thunder, and lightning. So one more scaffolding, huh, Tatai? Yeah. Tatai, no one had those nails. What? No, no one had those nails. The kind with the tie wire. I went to three different places. No stock. You 
just gonna make them? Okay. Do we have tie wire? Alright, well the, the rain has come. We're all being nice and cozy in here underneath this trapao. Everybody except Abbott, he's a, he's a wild man. Well, we were just getting to the point to, because this is like the third or fourth day with no rain. We were just getting to the point to where we were going to have to water the garden again. And if it'll, if this will continue for another five minutes or so, we won't have to water any of the plants. And it's looking like it might. As you can probably hear in the mic, there's a nice little breeze up here. As you're continuing on here, I would expect them to have the purlins done today. All the way around. Uh, this is the last wall here that they have to complete. It's not, not the last wall, the last section of the roof here. You know, people have been asking me. Well, they've been warning me about the dangers of the gas, the gases from the uh, from charging and discharging batteries. And my plan is to uh, move all that system and the permanent solar system up here onto the roof onto this deck. Now there's there's three walls that come together right at the edge right here because that's a bedroom wall there and a bedroom wall there and um, there's a, a header that goes along here. So this is a red, this is a really strong area right in here. So uh, the batteries will probably be set right right along this wall and out into here probably the strongest part of this deck right there the solar panels are gonna go on there I uh, I'm, I'm well I haven't checked my email yet today I was waiting on an email from a subscriber who was gonna send me a link on the uh, <clears throat> on those 450 watt solar panels now, James Hightower had told me about those <coughs> Uh, 450 watt solar panels and uh, he had sent me uh, some information about them I could never find them uh, I could never find a place to to buy them he, he, he had suggested to go on to uh, Facebook marketplace uh, I, I haven't been able to find any um, and, and, and quoted me a price which was similar to uh, what this gentleman who had left a comment, I think his name was Mike, um, about a same, uh, uh, the same wattage of panel from green, I don't know, green something or other, uh, a, a, I would assume a solar panel supplier here in the Philippines, and they have an office in Cebu. So if I don't hear from him today, I'll, I'll try to Google it hard part in the Philippines is that you know, they, even businesses change their numbers, their phone numbers, like you change your clothes. It's very hard to find a, a working phone number in the Philippines for any amount of length of time. So I'm going to try to uh, get a hold of them, contact them. He told me they were eight, 9,000 pesos somewhere around in there for a 450 watt panel. If they're 24 volt, um, like the panels that I have, uh, I'll get one. Uh, I'll get one of those and add it to the system that I've got. And uh, that'll put me right at a thousand watts. I'm gonna, 
that will over that will over panel my controller. So what I uh, what I might do is just uh, cover a bit of that 450 watt panel to bring the wattage down a little bit, put some of it in shade, so to speak, uh, so that I would be right at you know just make a. Uh, estimation on what would get me right at the 800 watts and uh, I'd like to get one just for uh, you know, dimensions and to test them if they're good if it's a good panel 450 watt don't have to mess with a bunch of them if they're 24 volt I can uh, hook them up in parallel don't have to worry about hooking them up in series they'll work they'll work uh, it'll be really easy so uh, I'd like to get one of those, get the dimensions from it, and uh, see how many of those I could put on this roof here, because this is where all the solar panels are going to go. <coughs> and I anticipate uh, putting a rocking cradle up here as well, uh, to follow the sun a bit. Uh, this angle is pretty good for the morning sun, the angle that it's at right now. But for the evening sun, the slope of this roof is not great. So uh, they would need to be you know, turned like yay. You can see the, the shade profile that this uh, roof is gonna, that the Nipah roof is gonna put onto the uh, steel roof here. So I'm only gonna be able to use, and this is, this is like 3, 3, 3, 3 30 in the afternoon. Uh, so this is about, uh, the most shade that would ever be on this. So I'm only going to be able to use about 70% of the roof area, all that area over there that is not in the shade. Uh, that's, uh, what is that, two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve feet. Uh, twelve feet wide and this span is about twenty feet. So uh, I've got about 200, let's say I've got between 200 and 250 square feet to work with. Um, I'm thinking that would get me uh, easily at the 3,000 watt uh, threshold. If not, I'll just, look, they're, they're, because they're going to be on the cradle, they're going to be up in the air probably a foot or two. So I might, I might be able to utilize another four feet here, another row of panels. So if it's close um, in, in the area that I need, because uh, really I'd like to get to 5,000 watts for the house. Um, if I have to raise the panels up a bit to get them higher than the shade, it's going to be from this NEPA, then I'll do that. And I'm also... Uh, look, the big thing that I, the next big hurdle to jump is a hybrid uh, solar wind controller. The ones that I've researched, uh, the highest capacity ones that I've seen are uh, 3,000 watt. They're 1,500 watt solar and 1,500 watt wind. And the 1,500 watt wind is just fine but I still need the 5,000 watt solar because the reason, you know, everyone poo-poo's the wind. Uh, not everybody, but uh, some people that I know have uh, talked down about the wind power. Uh, look, having a wind generator Generating power at night when there's no sun is, you know, if I've got a 2,000 watt wind generator up here and it's producing 500 watts uh, overnight, in a 12 hour night, then that's, let's see, uh, that's one less, just say that's two less batteries that I have to have uh, for storage. And that's 30,000 pesos right there in used batteries. 
batteries, not new ones, they used batteries. So uh, I think a windmill uh, would pay for itself really quick like. And I plan to eventually, someday, uh, mount it right here. If we're already almost 20 feet off the ground, I could put a 15-foot, 20-foot pole here and be at 40 feet, uh, which would get me close to being above the tree line. Uh, that coconut tree right there is probably the highest thing around right now, and it's about the top of those fronds are probably 15 feet above the top of my head. So. To avoid all the wind from that, I would probably have to be another 25 feet in the air, but uh, you start getting up that high and then, you have, then you're going to have uh, stability problems. I think another 20 feet up from where I'm at right now would, would get me into good wind most of the time. And so that's the plan and, and probably, uh, I don't know where I would put it. Somewhere where I could run the guy wires to the corners of the house. So, uh, you might just hunt right here where I'm standing and just run it up from here. Uh, it'd be easy enough to attach the guy wires to these posts. Uh, a guy wire or two on the corners over there, good to go. I think I'd get an easy 20 feet out of here. 20 feet above where, I, where I'm at right now. What can you say, Tatai? Whew. Nice. Hot, but at least there's a nice breeze. And again, I'm going to give you this perspective from the road here. The driveway and then the road. So, it's like we're working on the last purlin right now. This is going to come out, the sun's right in, the, right in my eyes, so it's probably glaring through on your screen. This is quite a little downward slope here. You can kind of get a little idea there. So there, I would imagine they'll be clearing off those edges, sawing all the last of them to the correct lengths. Nerio is, uh, if they're going to have to make those, they're going to have to make the bamboo slats, I guess you could say, to lay the nipa on. So Nerio is cutting these uh, poles to length. It's looking like we're going to have a bunch of fence posts left over. That might just work out perfect. These look like they're about 12, 14 feet long. And they'll go... Uh, the purlins are going horizontally and these will go vertically. I don't know how many they're going to need. We've got a lot of them here. I guess it's a good thing that we salvaged them from the caretaker's house. Don't know how many it's going to require. And I did check in town Come here, Nini. Come on. I did check in town to see how much a bundle of... Uh, you can't even get as long as Tatai needs. The 10 foot... Uh, the 12... They didn't have any 12 foot. They have some sometimes. Uh, but the 10 feet, and I think there's uh, 20 per bundle. You know, we've paid, the last time we bought any of those was like, like two years ago, 
then we bought them for the, the chicken house. And the 10 footers then were 120 per bundle. And they're 280 now. Not quite three times the price, but more than doubled. So, because they're that expensive, I've decided to go ahead and uh, use these. But all it's going to cost is labor to, to make the slats, and so we'll just go ahead and do it that way. Everything, anything that we don't have to buy is a blessing. You know, I got the, I got the metal um, today. They have a different name for it here. I just call it flashing. Uh, that was 2,800 pesos just for 80 feet of uh, 80 feet of the two foot wide flashing. Everything is so expensive now. This inflation thing is just out of hand. And I know it's not just here. I know it's everywhere. It's worldwide. All right, well, the purlins are done. Tatai is... He, the, the roof from the old dirty kitchen is out there somewhere. And so he's going to go out, he's going to go uh, salvage the 2 by 2s from it and use those. Right, the, he has to have something to nail the flashing to. So, and he needs 2 by 2s and we've only got two of them. Looks like two eight-footers. And so we're, as it turns out, we're short two by twos. We have plenty of two by threes, but we're short two by twos. So that's gonna about finish it up here today, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.